Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't care? <laughs> huh? Look at all that splits on your face. Yucky. All right. Well, I am hoping that today's goal, we will get most of this grill. Actually, I want to get all the grill stuff done. Well, other than the insert, we're not touching any of that. I don't have steel to do that, nor the patience to rebuild all of that. So anyways, what I want to do is basically unbolt this. I kept talking about running it through the wheel. Haven't done it. We're going to do that right away. Let's smooth this out a bit. We're going to rework where our lights are. We got to do the fender braces and stuff like that. See how this is poking out. I had this straight, but I'm sure this is a part of that fender brace that's supposed to be holding everything in place. So we got to address that. And then uh, what else are we going to do? We'll probably fix down here because I don't like this little gap down there. And we'll extend the grill back. So, and then we'll see where we go from there. If we can start fitting the hood or not. I think that's uh, I think that's a good starting point. We'll start there and then uh, we'll see where we get. I'd like to get this thing in there and put new rib zerks into the fenders and stuff so that we can uh, actually bolt everything together. I don't know if it'll be there, it'll be in the grill. But I guess I wanna put these two together and I'll probably like rib zerk them together and then we can bolt everything as we need to. At least that's the plan. We'll see how how it goes or if that changes. <laughs> Anyways, first things first, let's English wheel this sucker.
Well, that worked out pretty nice. I think that cleans up that section pretty nice. I guess I could have made it a little bit longer only because what I know now, uh, we kind of mocked up the light. Without the grill in there, we don't know, but we knew we were going the, the midway route. So I feel, I like where I put the headlight. You can see how far back I am. So I'm just gonna clean up this one. We got this bigger hole we'll have to deal with. I just put a huge, huge washer on there. And then we'll have to, well, the light is gonna have to sit at this angle. Otherwise they're gonna sit crooked. Well, we'll figure that out once I get it on the grill. Cause you can see the gap here. We'll have to just shim that up a wee bit. But anyways, that goes there. That gives us, I'm able to comfortably, what I think is nice, add about two inches to the grill. Kind of keeps the perspective right to where the stock light would have been. Like the end of it was kind of in the hood opening, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not a fan of, I like this style. I like the grill like this. So everybody who was commenting to put them on the fender, uh, just not my thing. I like this. Anyways, we got that done. Well, we got this tacked up. I'm gonna do this better on the bench. I gotta do the other side quick, and then we can kinda take this off, put it to the bench. We can add a strip into here, which will bring this back. And then I'm gonna refit everything in here, like re-drill these, see if we can la uh, slap some paint, put this together. Uh, I gotta make sure I can get my grill in when I do that. Dang it. <laughs> Maybe we won't touch that for now. Maybe we'll work. We'll just focus on this and the grill surround here or the um, whatever you want to call this, the hood brace or the hood, this notchy bit. We're going to stretch that out. We'll start with that. I just got to finish this side up quick. So we're going to quickly make this one. I'm going to make it a little extra longer than I did that side. And then we can take it to the bench and just blindly add two inches into here. Yep. We're just going to add, I was just thinking we could make this whole new piece, but the double, the double stitch is a hard one. Cause you can see here, I didn't do the double stitch. I kind of bent the one side with the uh, stretcher shrinker, which is fine. Then I welded the, the edge only because I don't, I could have hammer formed it, but I know I would have made a mess of it. So I just welded the two together. So do the same here. This one, I am just going to cut this edge. And we'll just, we'll just extend this out two inches and see how that looks. Kind of go from there.
Well, that just sucks. Like everything got so much bigger. <laughs> I think after we've straightened all the sheet metal, everything, everything's like, uh, and we've even added two inches to the grill. I need to add like another three, almost four inches to the hood. Like how'd that happen? <laughs> I think everything was so banged up once it pushed everything back. Well, that's a bugger. I don't know what the, uh, I think we can shove stuff back a little bit. You can see my wheel. My wheel's perfect. I, I kind of myself like my wheel a wee bit ahead more. So, I mean, what do I get out of that, though? Half inch? <laughs> That's crazy. That sucks. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. It is kind of dumb, but I guess we're going to have to add to both sides of the hood. Which maybe we'll have a happy medium and I don't have to move the hinges. The... Uh, the underside of the hood is getting closer to lining up now. I think if I find a little bit of a medium on both sides here, like maybe add a little more to the front. I don't have anything squared up or centered or nothing, so we don't have a good example, but look at this. Two fingers of room there and about two fingers of room there. <laughs> ah, poop. What the heck? Oh, well. Oh well, I am not adding more to the grill at this point. I kind of did that. You might have wondered why didn't I do this all in one piece? Well, it's usually because of the, the shape of the hood. The more I try to add, the uh, worse things get. So it's, uh, it even still right now has a bit of a weird, it's kind of lost its out shape, I'm noticing. It's kind of caving in now, so. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to re... We're going to have to remake this thing. Boo. Hmm. I guess we can add a little more to it at this rate. If we got to do it. I like my headlight right here. That's okay. If I exaggerate it a little bit, I don't think it would bug me too much. But up here, the way I was shaping it, I think it's got to come out. So it can match up with the hood. Like... Mm, that's a good example here. This hood comes in. See how the hood kind of tucks away like at this angle? And my hood's sitting straight. I almost think I have to uh, prop a rod onto my hood across here, even though it's not right. But I almost got to make my grill uh, match the hood. As long as back here is sitting where it's roughly supposed to be. Uh, Man, that's a bugger. That is a bummer. Well, okay, no biggie. I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm gonna make a proper way to hold the hood on. I think I'm gonna start modifying it on the hood here. Um, we can give it a little more meat back, but I'm not gonna get too ex uh, aggressive with it. I really don't want the hood going past my lights. It's just a an irk I got and I want to keep, so. Okie dokie. Well, let's figure a way to hold the hood on better and then, uh, bummer. I'll have to find some rods here. I'm gonna take this piece off because I'm thinking we're almost gonna have to make it. I'm kind of getting to that point, I think. But uh, none of this is sitting right. Maybe if I break some of these welds, I can bring this back up, get the angles where they're supposed to be and just add some steel in here. Down here feels good, seems okay. It's just when I get to, well, probably about that angle to, well, everything up into here just looks like it's going down. It's the illusion I get. So, I don't know. Let's cut it apart and uh, keep trying here. See if we can get her. Alrighty, you can see what I did wrong here. See the straightness? By me trying to reuse this inner brace, I kind of screwed myself. So this is where the hood would sit and this is where the hood used to sit. And now I got this much stuff into the middle. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this ring off. I'm gonna bust a few of these welds. We're gonna see how much of this ring I can re-salvage. And uh, cause everywhere I follow the hood line, we got like some gap happening underneath it here. So should be pretty easy. Just cut these off. Uh, and then we'll have to make this ring. And that was kind of what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna start cutting this up. Well, we have spaced this out, but 
everything is getting crazy on here. Well, granted, this grill should go back. I've been pushing on and tugging on things like I shouldn't have. I think this is supposed to go. <clears throat> or is it? No, that was the piece that I made. I don't think there's much give to go back on this thing. All the holes are kind of lined up. I don't know why it's so crooked. Well, why is the whole car crooked? <laughs> there's just... Didn't it seem like the hood fit better before we straightened everything? <laughs> oh man, now I'm looking at it, the gap is even bigger on top. Like it's not even straight to my hood now. Holy, there's so much going on. I mean, there is some crookedness going on here. See the gaps here? I was gonna add the both sides of the hood, but then the problem we run into is the hood can only get so wide in the back. So if I move this two inches up, my hood would all of a sudden be too wide. It would kind of do a, and then back in. So we're, we're hooped. We can only go forward. And it's starting to look like I'm gonna be, well, it almost looks like it'd be easier to make a whole hood at this point. This hood's like just useless. Jipers. I don't know. I don't know now. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, what a mess. It started over, oh, we're just gonna work a little bit on the grill and we got all this happening now. <laughs> so, there's some good news, I guess. So I ended up having the fast in the back. So that's done. We are up, the edge is good. Our gap has just gone horrendous by the time it gets up here. But I guess whatever, the difference in cars, so be it. Anyways, I um, added onto the front here. Well, I didn't, I just, we did something to make sure that the hood's still uh, profiling right. So at least when I sit back, that line looks like it's straight. Like so this body line goes into this hood line and the best I can tell, it's looking like straight, straight. So it's not a big deal to add to the front of the hood. That means this strip would be fine. We have this other one here that we can shoehorn over it to finish this one up. So that's okay. So we got that. And then this whole hood side is just a mess. So, hmm, yes. <laughs> I don't even know what is going on. Like, I thought that line, that hood was straight, but if I add just straight two inches to it, it's, uh, it looks like a complete mess. So if I added all this length into here, well, it doesn't matter. See, we got to make up so much stuff anyways. I don't think it's a big deal to make a hood side at this point. I think it, if we just do it as a solid piece and then we weld it up into this edge so we don't have to make the hinge. This front part's not bad because we can add some, we can somehow strengthen or do something in there. I'm not too concerned. Oh. What a bugger. What a bugger. Hmm. Thinking, what are we gonna do? I think for now, I'm just gonna focus on the top of the hood and this. Let's just make these work. Let's not worry about this right now. This I'm feeling like I'm gonna make new. We're gonna reuse these hinges. We're gonna reuse this chrome, because I love it. But we'll be able to center it. Maybe we can throw some louvers in it. I don't know. I don't know if that would work together. Although, louvers would look pretty good behind this stuff. Huh? 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 <laughs> oh, even though you wouldn't be able to see it. Ah. Uh, all right. Okay, don't care. Let's just do the top. Make this work up to here. I'm not even worried about making the flange running in here yet. I just, we just, we need a win here. We need to, uh, I have this semi started, but this is just a scrap piece. So I'm gonna, we're gonna cut two pieces. 
we're going to blindly just start like weld them together and match it to the front. We can cut it after, get a good gap going. I don't know, like the hood here, because it's tugging. I don't know, there's some weird stuff happening. But we'll figure it out later, because we can... This is excessively big, but I'm not going to concern myself. We can make this... We can fix this gap after, in my eyes. All right, let's do this. This is the goal.
Well, folks, I'm not gonna lie. This is not working out the way I thought it was. <laughs> In my head, this was gonna be easy, but then a whole lot of complex things started showing its face. Uh, because the hood's so wide in the back, it's so narrow in the front. So when you try to do it, it ends up coming this way and then kind of coming out. So we had to do the inevitable. I had to carve the top of the hood to split it because the hood has to get exactly like an inch wider to get to the front. So, yeah. So we had to do that. I'm basically tacking all of this and what I'm gonna do is just figure out where make a line and I'm just going to cut and then I'll build my grill shell to it. And then the hood should be close to where I need it after the fact. Um, it's kind of the easiest cause I can push, pull, prod, do whatever I got to do to get things to line up. So this all went the hood, you know, this is nice. That's nice. Been fighting to keep this line straight. So we got that going. Once I realized what was happening, I split the hood. We pushed it out that kept this lined up straight. But then the shape of the hood or the grill is wrong. Like it, it was too, too pointy. So we just did a slit. I think when it's said and done, it'll just give it a, a nice, a nicer rounded corner a bit, but it flows well with everything else. It's not perfect, but I don't know if they were, if you go in, there's a, a little bit of a gap in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I put a light on, you can see, maybe you can't. My thumbs may be indicating it. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> How's that? There we go. You can see there's a gap. Maybe you can't. I don't know anymore. Anyways, there is one. It's not major. I think overall, I show you that you see that, but when you stand back here, it's like, it looks good. Well, in my eyes, it looks good. It's flowing okay. This side you can go in because you can see what's happening here. No matter what I'm doing, you can totally see how far in this hood's dipping. Look at my finger, eh? So we're getting over here. You can see all my fingers underneath there. So there's no way I can push prod and pull that thing out. When I do, like I was stretching it and I was kind of getting the hood to kind of fold up where I wanted. It made the body line or the, the split in the hood. It started to go like, like up to the front. So. So splitting the hood we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue on here. I've already slit the top of here. What I'm gonna do is get everything roughly where it's gotta be. Everything's holding in place. I'm gonna cut and butt everything after. Uh, once I get everything sitting where it's supposed to, I'll leave this as a solid piece for now. I believe I'm just gonna end up building some hood sides. That's, look how messed up everything's said and done. Once this is all done, this is, fits good down there. So I'm going to resave these. Somehow I'm going to get, you know, put those back onto something. I think what I'll do is I either bend the flange or I'm, I don't know really what I'm doing. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I could cut over here and then we just have this fill or somehow I think I can kind of go back and we can maybe weld on the, the flat. I don't have a way to make those hinges like the, the I don't know you can get just like piano hinges, but those are pretty long. I don't know. I guess hindsight, I, I could, well, I would have had to add metal anyways. I don't know, whatever. Nothing sacred on this car anymore. Everything just gets cut up, so whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna keep talking. I'm gonna, we're gonna quickly try to get our, not even anywhere near the goal we wanted, but I wanna get this side of the hood to match up to the other side, cause it's been a long day. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of kind of over this right now. <laughs> All right, let's carve it up some more, and then we'll we'll check it out, see how it looks after.
Well, that definitely did not work out the way I wanted. I don't even know what I was trying to do at the beginning of this. I think I was trying to do the grill and I was going to do, well, the bits there and nothing worked. <laughs> uh, we learned a lot. Looks like the hood's like sort of semi getting into the vicinity, but you know, if we just added to the front, I don't know. That would not, that would not have been a very good look. Eh, I'll show you this side. To add just completely the grill up to the hood would not have been a good look in my eyes. There would have been all this, like, I don't know. If it was a bigger headlight maybe, but nah. Nah, not happening. Anyways, we got the front part here. This should work with the hood. We do a little hammer dollying. We got to do a cut and butt across there, but uh, I think the upper part of the hood is pretty good. I feel I'm going to go up to this line, but I think this line's... The line is straight, but it doesn't seem right. So I don't know. We're going to go with it. I have to take a string or something, I think. Because for some reason, I feel I feel it goes here and it feels too straight. It should kind of come. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to do something. And this just doesn't have a right look to it. I don't know if we got to come up at a little bit of an angle. I don't know. I'll uh, look at it and think about it, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Mostly, I'm really feeling I'm going to have to make a hood side. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Um, I want to focus just getting the top part of the hood done. Um, so basically, I want to get this line done. I want to cut it. I want to do the step in there, the step there, the side, so at least I can set the hood on it, and it's sitting where it's supposed to be. Somewhere in here, i got to bust a weld because this grill's a little tweaked. Doesn't have a nice... Uh, not very straight. We'll fix that up. It's just... We spot welded all this. We're going to end up just cut butt welding this over. We will cut this to get our gap like that in our gap. Yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I think that is where we're going to leave this one. The struggles were real this round. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, uh, on the next round, hopefully we actually get the hood all mounted up. Hopefully get the front, the sides done. Not sure if we're going to get to the side sides yet, but we'll see. Hopefully we can make it work with what we got right now. Maybe I'll just add to the front, like just tack something on just so I can try to make this thing function. I don't know yet. I think that would be an ugly look, but maybe it won't be so bad. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we could use it because it's not a terrible fit. It's not terrible. Like it's, I mean, it's there's a big gap, but maybe we can do some fudgery with the uh, inner fender to kind of match up a little better. I mean, there should be a gap, but yeah. Anyways, I think this video has run on like crazy, so at least it feels like it in my world. <laughs> I uh, want to thank you all for watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.